there's a guy who had the operation to become a woman, but he became a lesbian. See, I have to scratch my head. You were a man <laughs> who was supposed to like, oh, and then you went through all that to take on a lesbian lover. Okay, but that's just, see, when I talk about complexity, we make things complex, okay, rather than simple. That's the deal. It is why it is very difficult because, you see, that part of their life, whoever that person is and whatever that thing is, whether it's transsexual or whether it's uh, I'm ugly or whether, whatever it is, whatever that idea is, if we're not willing to give up that idea, all the meditation, all the things in the world is not going to make a difference. That's what makes it difficult. That's why we have to give it all up in order to have it all. We don't, we want to give in to whatever it is we have, whatever idea we have. We want to give in to that because that's the way we've thought most of our life. So we give in to it. We don't see another way. We see other people as combative toward those things, all right? As for me, I don't know from gay, from transsexual, from lesbian, from black, from white, from brown, from yellow, from cat, from dog. I don't know. I treat all things the same way. You see what I'm saying? I had, don't have those categories anymore because those categories doesn't make, don't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. And the only way out for that person is when they stop thinking of themselves as a man or a woman or a gay person or whatever. You just do what you do. Your body does what it does. If you leave it alone, it does what it does. You know, if you see a man and go, hmm, that's on you. Got nothing to do with me. If the bell goes ding, <laughs> <laughs> then that must be what you like. You know, I was looking at a guy who was on TV who said that he slept with gay people, but he wasn't gay. If you get a hard on from looking at a man, ding! <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but uh, you have to, st we must stop lying to ourselves about whatever all this is. We do what we do. Our bodies react the way they react. Okay. I don't have to, you know, there's, There was this thing I was forced to do. Not really forced to do, I chose to do. Sometimes men get competitive with me. They shouldn't, but they do. You know, they want to run it. Particular guy was all, you know. What did I do? Kissed him right on the mouth. You ever see an alpha dog? Even if it's a female al alpha, what will she do? She'll hump the other dogs to pull up here. This is what I think of you. Okay. <laughs> Just telling you the way it is, okay? Now, is that sexual? No. It's a matter of something else. Okay. So sometimes... We have to, not, everything is not what it appears to be to the mind of that person seeing and observing. So the best thing is, I don't know what you are. That's up to you. You see what I'm saying? So when we stop identifying ourselves, there's a passage in the Bible that goes, 
judge ye not, lest ye be judged. Well, that doesn't mean there's a guy sitting up in a chair somewhere with a crown and a big beard going, uh, you did so and so, you can't come in. You did so and so, you can come in. That is not the judgment. The judgment is you judging yourself by identifying yourself as this, that, or the other. I can't even say that I am a human being. I don't know what that means. Now, that's not saying I'm a god. <laughs> I'm saying I am the god. <laughs> I'm the only one I got. <laughs> I'm saying when we start to define ourselves that mere definition separates us from our true self, separates us from the whole. And the whole is simple. God is not that complex thing, but the simple thing. You. That's why we can't find it. Because we keep pulling ourselves out of the way. I mean, where is God? Where is he? I got to find him over here, or find him over there. Well, it's not going to happen. The only place you're going to find it is inside. The ego or the mind is like blowing a bubble underwater. The illusion of the boundary of the bubble prevents the recognition of the ocean around it. So the bubble has to pop. When the bubble pops, the ocean fills in, and you recognize yourself. It's okay. It's all right to be God. It's all right to exhibit the qualities that are God, which means I see the transsexual, I see the gay guy, and they're distinguishing between them and the, the I don't know. I'm just, hey, how you doing? <laughs> How are you? Doing all right. Yeah, good. You have a good day. That's all I'm doing. I have no idea who you are in that sense, who you think you are in that sense. And moreover, I don't care. I don't care because it's too complex. I meet you today and you behave this way because you feel this way today. Tomorrow I meet you and you feel in a whole other way and you got a whole other attitude going. How am I supposed to know who you are? I'm just supposed to say, like Gummer Powell, hey! <laughs> hey, Sergeant! <laughs> yeah, that's it. Don't know. Don't know. And if I care, that means I have, I'm involved in the definition. I'm not. So, let me live, I let you live. 